from here, I am here, 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 here. I'm here. I'm here. We're going to talk about the Vivinova today, uh, whether it be dual coil or single coil. And why are we talking about the Vivinova today? Well, a gentleman got a hold of me, and he says, can you make a video for my website setting up the Vivinova? Well, Mark Roberts, you ask and you shall receive, my friend. Let's do it. I am a huge fan of the Vivinova. Um, I've talked about it in all the videos that I've ever done of how much I like the Vivinova. Why? Because it's top coil. Why do I like top coil? You have to tilt it and you have to keep it wicking. Why would you like top coil? Well, to me, top coil gives a more intense flavor because as opposed to bottom coil, which you know, the vapor has to go all the way up the tube, through the mouthpiece or the drip tip before it gets to your mouth. It's tough to get a warm vape if you're not using dual coils, which are available in the Vivinova now. But if it's the old single coil where it's the uh, two, uh, two, 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 just two wicks as opposed to dual coil, four wicks. If you got dual coil on the bottom, it's tough to get a warm vape. Why do I like a warm vape? To me personally, I think a warm vape tastes better, but more importantly, it's more of it's more flavor. It's a more intense flavor. So you got a lot less flavor, uh, flavor. You got a lot less space before it hits your tongue, and it just tastes great. Plus, it's warm, which to me intensifies the flavor. That's just me, though. So anyway. But let's talk about setting it up. This is a Nova pretty much right out of a box, okay? you got your drip tip on the top. I can change that out, which I'm a big fan of. I'll change it out to oh, any drip tip will fit. Let's do a short chromey. Looks pretty good. Now that's empty. We're going to have to refill it. Um, I've just cleaned it out. How do you clean it out? You take it apart. You run hot water over everything. You dry it off. And... That's that. But for the next part, since we're going to set this thing up, we're going to want to do an up-close view. So let's change camera angles, and we will get right on that as of right about now. And here we are with our uppy closey view. Here you got a box of heads, and two are missing, as you can plainly see. If you buy a quantity of five of them from the website, uh, well, that's generally what you're going to get. But I have seen them come in little bags, too. Then you just, you know, pop them on out. When you get your heads out of there, generally they come in this little sleeve, that little uh, silicone sleeve. Some people call those condoms. And uh, it's simple. You just pull it out of there, and then you're left with your head. This is a dual coil head. This one is a single coil head. You'll have to decide what you want. Dual coil is going to give you more vapor, more flavor. And the heads themselves, to me, just seem better all around and just perform really well right from the get-go, whereas the uh, single coil heads they tend to take a little bit to break in. Um, you might taste a little machine oil, uh, which is a protectant film on the coils themselves. If I take the silicone cap off of here, you're going to see that, that the coils are wrapped around silica wick. And uh, 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 see if I can get you a good shot of that. Maybe. Eh, maybe not. There it is. See the coils wrapped around the wick? Those little coils have a protective film to keep them from rusting and preserve them. And who knows, the wick itself may have that as well. I don't know. So people tend to do dry burns before they get it going, okay? And we are going to show you how to do that pretty soon. Don't lose these little caps that you put on the ends of them because you will need them. So I'll stick that back on there. Whereas the dual coils, I personally find I don't have to do any of that. I don't have to dry burn them. They just seem to work right from the get-go, but you certainly can. Vivi Novas, different styles, different types. This is an SVD Nova here, not STD. <laughs> SVD. And it's just got a little looking glass in the side. You can get these in different colors. Personally, I like this one better. But hey, that choice is up to you. I can certainly see how people might like these to color code them for whatever juice you have in them. Otherwise, you can use a magic marker, do whatever you've got to do. And you can usually find different 
types of glass for these as well. If you're using a cinnamon juice, you can get a metal tank for this, as this is more of a plastic type tank, which cinnamon type juices will eventually break that down. So if you are big on cinnamon juices, you're going to want to buy a metal tank for this. Just search it or possibly get it on this site that you're seeing this video. Other sites, you can also get a new base for these. Here's a base for the Nova, which is the bottom part, as you see here. Sometimes if you drop your mod a lot, like I do, ee, yeah, you might bend this a little bit. Well, you can replace that with a brand new base. They're only like $1.99, no big deal. So that's nice with the Vivi Nova. Plus, the Vivi Nova itself is so affordable. For a dual coil, you'll pay around $14, $15 generally. And for the uh, single coil, you will pay more like around you know ten to eleven dollars, which is very affordable. And to me, with you place that blah, blah blah blah, replace your drip tip. It's a solid, nice looking tank for what it is, and uh, and it's very affordable. And you're going to get a terrific flavor. So let's take it apart. Let's say that we want to clean it. Okay, I've just described to you how you clean it. Run water through everything. Take it apart. Take the top off. Set it aside. Take the tank off set it aside and you would run the, your water through all of these things get all the juice out take this little cap off just like the other one set it aside you don't want to lose it and then you can even take off the coil you just unscrew the old coil and say you were gonna change that coil or clean whatever you gotta clean eventually take that off and then you're left with your base remember the replacement base that's what we're at right now And you wash this all out then you would blow through everything. Put your mouth on that, blow through everything, and wipe everything off with paper towels. Give these a little bit of a blow. Wipe these off, you know, and dry them as best as you can with a paper towel. It's probably not going to be perfect. They're still going to be damp, and that is perfectly okay. Do the same with everything. Get it all as dry as you possibly can. Now, at this point, what I do is I start with my head, okay? Say this is kind of wet or say it's brand new and you've got a single coil. Here's what you do to kind of help it break in. Get your mod. Screw it on your mod. Right, right there. It's making contact. I'm not going to go down any further than that. I felt it make, it's just start to make contact. That's good. I don't need to shove it down and really wrench it down there. It's going to push your post down. Don't do that. All right, at this point, what we will do is just give it a couple of dry burns. Let me see what my wattage is at. I'll turn the wattage down a little bit on this variable wattage, variable voltage device. That being said, if you've got a variable wattage, variable voltage, it does not matter what ohm heads you use. Um, you can use higher ohm heads because you can crank more volts at it if you need. If you have a standard 3.7 volt device that is not variable wattage, not variable voltage, that you cannot change those things up or down, it's just one click of a button and it just fires and that's it, you have a 3.7 ohm ah, volt device. At that point, I highly re recommend that when you buy new heads for these, you get the 1.8 ohm heads, and that will allow for a better vape for you. So dry burn. While blowing on the coil, you just hold the fire button for a couple of seconds. And that will help dry out the wick if it's a little bit wet. wet. And for new ones, it'll help get rid of some of that oxidant. Uh, well, the protective film that is on those coils. Some people say to get it wet first, then do it. Some people say it doesn't make any difference. That I will leave up to you. We will put our cap back on at this point. If you wanted to, you could drip a little drop of juice down there, but it really isn't crucial. But I'll show you how I would do that. And sometimes I do, um, or you can just kind of put some here and there, right on those wicks. Don't worry if it, a little bit spills. It'll, uh, you know, go in the little cup below. And you can put just a little drop down the center. Don't go overboard with that. That's not a big deal. But that will kind of pre-wick everything. You get the wicking process started while you're putting everything else back together. Put your tank back on. Okay. And at that point, I could put this on. But no, we need to fill this thing. Plus, I need to put this little silicone sleeve back on, which I should have done before. But that's okay. We can do it right now. And it's on this point we can fill it up take your juice this is waffle from backwoods brew if anybody cares if you don't care well I don't care either but it is yummy 
and I'm just kind of going around. I personally like to drip down the wicks as I am filling this up just to kind of help it. I don't know. It's just what I do. and You don't have to do this at all. You're going to fill it up right about the point to where it reaches the, the wicks. That seems to work for me, and that's about good right there. And I'm kind of tilting it back right now for that camera angle. It's fuller than that. There are little lines on there, as you can see on the side there. You see it? You see it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, anyway, there are lines there. Let me get that out of the picture. Maybe that'll help. There's lines on the side of this tank, and it'll tell you kind of your fill line, and you can use that. I usually don't pay, pay much attention to it. Like I said, I just fill it up towards the top, right where the wicks go into the, into the head here, and call it good. At that point, we put our cap back on. Simple as that. So now you know how to fill it, how to clean it, how to set it up initially for, you know, give that uh, dry burn if you like. And uh, like I say, I don't have too much problem using dual coils. If you've got single coils, I have had problems to where I've even had to boil the wick where I will, you know, and any time you feel like if you're using the single coil or any coil, and you feel like it's just giving you kind of a skunky taste, some sort of uh, taste that just isn't quite natural to the flavor you're getting. And you'll know it when you taste it. Take this thing, the whole thing, take the rubber cap off. Okay. Uh, come on, baby. There it is. Take the rubber cap off. Throw it in some boiling water. Boil it for like five minutes. Take it out. Give it the dry burns that we were talking about. Two to three, you know, two to three second bursts of it while you're blowing on it and you're good to go. And that will probably take that flavor out for you. And that's it. That is how we set up the Vivinova. And at this point, we will change camera angles again, and we will vape it. Because, hey, vaping is fun. So let's talk about now that we've changed our angle. we got a full tank here. This is a top coil design. Like I mentioned earlier, you're going to have to tilt it because... You want the juice down here to make sure your wicks are good. But that's really all you got to do. I find I just kind of go like that once in a while, and that keeps me waking. Uh, waking just fine. Let's crank it. Here we go. Mm. That's already awesome. But I obviously got it flooded because there's not a lot of vapor. Well, I just cleaned it. You heard my dog bark there. I'm not exactly sure why. Here we go. So I just cleaned it, and you're going to notice that there's not a lot of vapor at the first. I had to correct her. But keep up with it. Any tank you clean, you're going to have this problem. Boom, more vapor happening. More vapor happening. Mm. As I sit in my creaky rocking chair, I am truly enjoying the flavor of the Vivinova. If you want more vapor, take your time drawing in the vapor. Just let it come out naturally like it, let it do what it wants to do as far as all that goes, okay? See, that was a long, drawn out, slow vape. And uh, if you want to, you can you know, draw harder. But you're not getting as much vape. Personally, I like to take long, steady, slow drags with the Baby Nova. Now I've been chain vaping, which the Baby Nova, especially the dual coil, does really well, so I'm just holding it upside down for a minute to make sure it keeps waking. And the flavor, wow. Because like I said, those coils are right up here, it shoots straight to the palate. And you can hear it just sizzling as it goes, and I love, I love that sound. And the Vivinova for me has been a favorite. This has been a number one tank for me ever since it first came out. Since, since I very first started vaping it, you know, before this ever came out, this came out. It changed everything for me. I had, I had no idea I could experience such great flavor and, uh, and 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 such a warm vape. And and it came out and it changed everything. Like I said, and now, I. Now I just, I can't put it down. And through thick and thin, I've always been able to work with it. Like I said, those single coils, you used to not ever have to boil them. They were fine right from the start. 
But with the, with this now, I've worked through it. That's how much I love the Baby Nova that my daughter's talking. It's so hard to put these out. I'm sorry when I get kids. You just got to deal with it, okay? Just like me. Anyway, so I work through those little problems by boiling it and uh, taking other people's advice. Plenty of other people that love the Nova, like I do, that were suggestive and uh, came up with ways to make it better. Sometimes, let me show you this. You'll find with a single, I'll go ahead and, and you don't even have to take this cap off. I will for, I don't know why I'm going to, but I'm going to. All right. Sometimes you'll find that it seems like you're not getting enough juice, okay? And I've had this with the dual coil or uh, the single coil. And it seems like it's not wicking properly, no matter, no matter how much you're tilting it. Um, it's just not quite wicking the way it should. Now, with thicker juice, if you're using high VG juice, 50-50 uh, blend or 100% VG specifically, it won't wick good enough as a thinner juice will. And that means your coils are wrapped tight and it's kind of choking it. What will help this for those wicks to be able to absorb more juice faster? You take a wick, sometimes you have to untwist these a little bit to get to one, but I see one hanging right here, okay? You take a wick and you just literally pull the wick out. See how that came out of there? And that loosens up those coils to be able to take more juice. Guys, guys I'm recording. Lex, thank you. I'm almost done. And there you go. You've got to loosen. So that's another trick. Those are all the tricks to, that you, you will need to know. And one of them, or if not all of them, will help you with this if you even experience any of those. Most of the time, with your standard juices, a dual coil especially, you won't have to mess with any of it. And on that note, one last thing. The tiltiness of it. You're also going to find that if you get down to about a quarter full, you might as well top it off again. This thing does a lot better by keeping the juice full. All right. So let's take one last little tote together on this. I've made this one a little bit more professional than I normally do. Tried to stay on task in order to make this video for a website specifically. So there you go. There you have it. There's your Vivinova. Enjoy it. Let's vape, my friends. Always hum and sing while vaping, okay? Have a great day. It was good to see you. I'm glad you watched the video, and I hope you found it useful for setting up the Vivi Nova. That's just how I roll with it. Have a great one. Talk to you later.